so confident in the judiciary well well that's part of what we'll be considering today uh next now as we're joined by well uh liberal sashoma <laughs> legal practitioner joins, joins us this morning thank you for coming on today well it's my pleasure thank just trying to juggle so many things that that the ag uh, cgn has said and i mean how come because some lawyers say look we've seen this we've said this various times and uh, but it, it's not a one-size-fits-all kind of solution to this challenge uh, i imagine but what do you think of it um first and foremost we we need to like um, they say even in our football um football house they say the Coaches need to go back to the drawing board. <laughs> Even in the judiciary, just the same way we talk about our executive, we need to go back to the drawing boards. Some people will um, we say uh, our educational standard has fallen, and so it's a multiplying effect of what we're having now. But um, we will say the standard, if you, now, if you ask me when the standard started falling, and um, you, you, you compare it with the judges we have now, mm -hmm. you can still say that as at the time they were in school, some of them even schooled in, in, in England. So, so they have no business. They have no, the, 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 the standard did not... Have even, no business. No, exactly. And so, but when you look at the, the overall scenario, you know, vis-a-vis -vis the in, super imposing... Um, position of um, the executive, you know, over other arms of government, you 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 be you be taken aback because I, I remember reading um, Shegu Adeni's book. He said um, while he uh, was reporting for the, uh, this day, was it this day or Concord? No, this day. During um, the June 12 crisis, immediately Basi Ikbeme gave that uh, judgment um, stopping and um, annulling the elections or, you know, s postponing the elections a day before June 12. You know, there was a judgment and this party injunction obtained by the Association for Better Nigeria that the elections should be postponed, should not hold. And immediately the governors, you know, at that time we had civilian governors and uh, the military head of state. They were at... Uh, um, Nikon in Nabuja and immediately the news came to the governors each of them were calling the CJ of their state to say look okay don't worry we'll make arrangement with some lawyers to come go to my state meet with the CJ and I've spoken with him he should be able to give a counter you know injunction Wow, uh, you, you understand and so that's the level we had degenerated to a situation where even uh, recently I was reading Erufai's book too he said when he was appointed, um, that's uh, the uh, accidental civil servants, even though some people choose to call it evil servants, a public servant, sorry. Um, he said when he was appointed uh, FCT minister, and because of the reforms that he had to carry out, they had to meet with the uh, chief judge of uh, FCT and some senior judges to discuss the, the reform, the agendas with them, to foster frivolous ex parte injunctions, you know. So, you see, this opportunity that's supposed to be for, there's supposed to be a marriage of, um, of um, I won't say marriage of convenience, now, marriage for convenience to enhance good governance. It's been seriously abused because um, we've reduced, we've narrowed every down to, everything down to Naira and Kobo. But one thing we seem to forget, like Lord Denny of Blessed Memory said, MR, when a judge sits on trial, the judge on trial. is on trial. You sit on trial over a matter between two people, the entire world, the entire country is trying you. And that's why the CGN also said, look, even the people, the ordinary people you think don't know, they know, they listen, they watch. So they expect, there's a level they expect you know, that judgment to, to get to. And so when it falls below that level... They know something know, is wrong. They know something is wrong and they comment. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's not something you, you just sit back and expect to go. But it's not something that you can fight from the bottom. It's mm -hmm. something that you need to show example and, and from the top. I imagine that, who knows, maybe when the next elections come, there'll be a lot of focus and a lot of heat on the judiciary again. 
because I mean even before this CGN came on board, I think if, if he was the former or the one before the former one, just his friends, I think Mustafa exactly. talked about it also. Yeah, where, where and matters came to <coughs> a, a head when when the President Court of Appeal openly accused the CGN of asking him to compromise. <laughs> this is not so it's no longer about judges at the high courts. The number one and number two people in the judiciary say, look, even the number two judge at the Supreme Court, Justice Zahir Mustafa, that later took over from uh, uh, Kassin Alu, that he was aware that he advised him that, look, this man he will tell you to compromise. Don't. Because he's been settled. Wow. So, allegations like that coming from the number one and number two, it shows you that the level that it has gotten to, it's no longer the level where you begin to discuss about this corruption in judiciary in 